Okay, so uh, I want to talk again about the uh, NHL return to play and the 24 team format. The 31 person player, the NHLPA, National Hockey League Players Association, uh, has a representative, a player representative from each team. So there's 31 of them, since there's 31 teams in the league. And they've authorized uh, to, pr to proceed forward. They said, yeah, we like this format, let's proceed. The games most likely would start in July, according to what I'm reading, what I'm learning. Uh, it's a 24-player format. Now, mind you, in the NHL, there are two conferences within each conference or divisions. Well, they'd streamline it. So 24 teams would be in this playoff format. However, the top four teams from the Eastern Conference and the top four teams from the Western Conference wouldn't have to play in the, to get in the playoffs. So they're going to try to get 24 down to 16 and then continue from there. So eight teams have a bye, but those eight teams that play around Robin uh, for seeding purposes. And I'm not sure if round Robin, they mean each of the eight teams plays the other seven teams, or do they mean within each division, each of the four teams plays the other three teams. That's what I'm thinking of to get this down. Uh, but those teams are in the playoffs. They'll just be playing a round Robin amongst themselves uh, for those, just those four, those eight teams to get seeding for the playoffs. So the other 16 teams will play each other based on their seeding, based on where they stood in the standings when the league shut down March 12th. There's seven teams that had no chance of the playoffs. They wouldn't be part of this. They're out. Just 24 of the 31. So, for instance, um, the Minnesota Wild, which would be seeded number 10, based on the March 12th regular season standings, will play the number seven seed, which is the Vancouver Canucks. So just, I gotta look at my notes here, bear with me here. But the buys will go to St. Louis, Colorado, Las Vegas, uh, Dallas in the Western Conference, and then Boston, Tampa Bay, Washington, and Philadelphia in the Eastern Conference. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so, so the play in the series in the West would be number eight, Calgary, against number nine, Winnipeg, just going down the list here. Number five, Edmonton versus number 12, Chicago. Number seven, Vancouver versus number 10, Wild. I've mentioned that already. And finally, uh, in the Western Conference, number six, Nashville will go up against number 11, Phoenix. Let's shift over to the Eastern Conference. So mind you, these are the teams that don't have buys. So you'd have number eight, Toronto versus number nine, Columbus. Hey, Rich, that's your team. Uh, hope you're doing well in the hospital. You just had surgery. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, let's hope they do well. Number five, Pittsburgh versus 12, Montreal. Number seven, New York Islanders versus number 10, Florida. And finally, number six, Carolina versus number 11, the New York Rangers. Uh, remember when they won the Stanley Cup for the first time in a billion years with Marc Messier, it was great. Anyways, uh, the things they have to, so the things they still have to figure out is they wanna have the games played in hub cities, either two or four hub cities. It's looking more and more like Las Vegas is going to be one of the hubs, uh, simply because they have all the hotels, they're connected to, to the uh, arena, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's most likely be played without fans because of the coronavirus. And the things they still are working out, the logistics are, how do we deal with this coronavirus? How do we turn do testing? How do we make sure it's safe? How do we not overload, you know, tap into a hospital system that's already overloaded? You know medical personnel, safety equipment, PPE, all that good stuff. All that stuff is to be figured out. And I'm not quite sure in terms of the players, I mean, they're ramming into each other right in the corner in front of the net, whatever. Would they make them, I'm thinking they might make them wear face shields. You know, just like the medical workers wear face shields, right? They'd all maybe have to wear a face shield to protect against the, you know, the droplets taken off and infecting other players. That's something they're working out. So. It's complicated, but again, what I like is the NHL is working hand in hand with the Players Association, so they're all on the same page and collaborating. So it's a, a safe, fun experience for everybody involved and even more fun for us watching at home. That's it for Sports Blab.